everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to do this cute little bunny hat for a baby from three to six months. The ears, you can make them go up like this where they stand up or you can push them down and they'll fall to the side, just like that. Or you can bring them to the front as well and they look like that. Okay, so let me show you how it's done. Okay, before we get started um, making our bunny hat, I wanted to tell you that we're using a medium number four yarn and we're going to use a five millimeter crochet hook to get the size of three to six months. Now, if you want to make your bunny hat for a baby from zero to three months, just use a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Uh, for a baby between six and nine months, use a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and for a baby from nine to 12 months, use a six millimeter crochet hook. And between 12 and 18 months, use a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so without further say, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is make our bunny ears. Okay, here I have one that's already done. And the first thing that we're going to do is this part here, and then we're going to make another one exactly the same to make the back. So you're going to need two, um, in pink and two in whatever color that you're going to to use whether it be white or gray in this case I'm using gray so now to begin I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook and I have 25 chains if you want your bunny ears to be longer just add more chains okay so here starting on the third chain from the hook one two three I'm going to make a half double crochet and a half double crochet into each one of these chains making sure that I only go into one of the loops okay because we're going to come back around and work the rest of our stitches into these other stitches that we have here on these chains okay so for this row all you're going to do is just make half double crochets until you come here to the end I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end. Now, what we're going to do is into the same space where we just made our last half double crochet, which is this last chain, I'm going to make five more half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five okay, and then now here I'm going to work these stitches here making half double crochets so beginning here in this first one I'm going to make a half double crochet a half double crochet into the next stitch this is all we're going to do so continue like this until you come here to the end I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. So now what we need to do is chain two, turn, and into each one of these stitches, starting here in this first one, we're going to make double crochets. In total, you're going to make 24 double crochets just like this into each one of the sti stitches. I will meet you here exactly where we have these three half double crochets to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making 24 double crochets, so now into these next three stitches that we have here. On the first one, we're going to make two double crochets into the same space. On the second one, the one in the middle, we're going to make three double crochets and into the third two double crochets into the same space just like this okay and then now here I'm just going to continue working double crochets into each one of these stitches that I have here okay so continue like this I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next 
Okay, I finished mine here. I just finished my last double crochet, cut my yarn, and I just passed my yarn through that last stitch that I had. And this is what it looks like. So now what you need to do is you need to do one more in your main color, whether it be white or gray. In my case, I'm making my hat in gray, so I'm going to make one more in gray, and then I need to make two more in pink, just like this, following the exact same instructions we just used to make this one here. So once you have these done, um, I will show you what we need to do, um, which is basically we're going to join them together, making single crochets all around. And I'll show you that next. Okay, so now here what we're going to do is just join them together. It doesn't matter which side you choose, I'm just going to do mine like this. Okay, there it is. So now here, I'm going to look for my first stitch on this side, which is this one here and look for my stitch on this side, the first one, which is this one here. Okay, and then now I have a loop ready here on my yarn. I'm going to introduce it through the front. I'm going to chain one. Okay, I'm going to turn it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my hook into these two stitches that I have here on the side and into the back into these next two. So making sure I grab these loops here on this side for the pink and the two loops here for the gray. And with this I'm going to make a single crochet. Then I'm going to go back into this stitch here and into the pink one and make a single crochet. And then again just like this. This is all that we're going to do, just single crochets all around. Just like this. So continue working in this manner all the way around. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making my last single crochet right here in this very corner, so now I just tucked in all my ends that were here on this side and this one here I need to also do the same thing because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make single crochets into this part here as well. So I'm just going to tuck these ends through there and then this also through the inside just like this. So back here I'm going to make a single crochet here one more in this space and then into the next again two single crochets two on this side and then two more here on this side okay and this is all we're going to do for this part here okay so now here what we're going to do is I'm going to work this stitch that's going to go around the single crochets that we just did. I think it gives it a nice touch and a unique look. Okay, so now here to do that part, right here where I have my first stitch, which is this one here, I'm going to join with a slip stitch. I'm going to chain one and into the next single crochet I'm going to make a slip stitch. Chain one into the next single crochet, slip stitch, chain one, into the next slip stitch. This is all we're going to do for this last row. Okay, so chain one, slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch. Okay, so continue like this all around. This is what it looks like, and here's this one that's already done. Okay, so I will meet you here on this side to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I just did my last slip stitch and here I cut my yarn. One thing, don't do what I did. You need to leave a long tail because this is what we're going to use to um, attach it to the hat. So now here, just make a slip stitch and pass it through and pull and this part is done. So remember to leave a long tail here. Okay, so here this part is done. My two um, bunny ears are done. So now let me show you 
um, the next part, which is making the, the hat. Okay, so now that we have our bunny ears done, what we need to do is our beanie hat. And to do that, I'm going to use a five millimeter crochet hook and normal number four yarn. So here, I'm going to make my magic circle. And to do my magic circle, this is the end of the yarn. This is this thread here is coming from my skein of yarn. So here, I'm going to lay it on top of these two fingers. I'm going to go under and then over, and I'm going to create an X. And with my pinky, I'm going to hold it there. And then here, with my hook, I'm going to go under and grab this loop here and bring it through the front. I'm going to let it go. And then here, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three, okay? If you don't want to use a magic circle, what you need you can do is just chain four and then join at the end with a slip stitch and then chain three. Okay, so now here inside this circle, we're going to make 13 double crochets. The three chains already count as one double crochet, so I have two, three, four. And 13 double crochets. Okay, so now I'm just going to pull and close my my circle. Now this circle may come may may get loose as we work this part here, but all you need to do at the end is just put this through a needle at the end and just weave it through the inside um, all around again, and it should stay it should stay put. So for now, we're just going to pull. Okay, so now here. We're, we need to join to complete this circle, but I'm not going to join to the three chains here. Um, I don't like to do that when I'm working in a circle because it creates a big gap in between here and I don't like that. So you can do it that way, it's fine, it's up to you. I like to join to the top of the double crochet. So I just go into the two loops and work my slip stitch, okay? And that's how I complete this first row. So now for the second row, we're going to chain three. And immediately right here where we just did our first slip stitch, I'm going to go back in and make a double crochet. For this second row, all we're going to do is two double crochets into each one of these double crochets. So one and then two and then into the next double crochet. Again, two double crochets. Into the next, same thing, two double crochets. This is all we're going to do for this second row, so continue like this all around. At the end of the second row, we should have 26 double crochets. So I will meet you here to show you how we're going to complete this second row and start on our third row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the second row. I have a total of 26 double crochets. So here to complete the second row, I'm going to go here where I have my double crochet and on top I'm going to make my slip stitch. Okay, and this is how I complete my second row. Now for the third row, I'm going to chain three and immediately into this same space where we just did the slip stitch, I'm going to make two double crochets. One, two. Into the next double crochet, I'm going to make one double crochet. Into the next double crochet, I'm going to make two double crochets inside the same space. One, two. Okay, so now our repeat sequence for this third row is going to consist of making one double crochet and into the next two double crochets inside the same space. Okay, one double crochet, two double crochets inside the same space of the next double crochet. Okay, 
double crochet, two double crochets into the same space. You're going to continue like this for this third row. At the end of the third row, you should have 39 double crochets. I will meet you here to show you how we're going to complete this third row and start on our fourth row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the third row. I have a total of 39 double crochets. So now here I'm just going to join to the beginning right here where I have my first double crochet with a slip stitch. And this is how I complete my third row. Now for the fourth row, I'm going to go up three chains and into the same space where we just did our slip stitch. I'm going to go back in and make two double crochets into the same space. And now into the next double crochet, I'm going to make one double crochet. Into the next, I'm going to make one double crochet. And into the next, two double crochets into the same space. One, two. So now our repeat sequence for our fourth row is going to consist of making one double crochet one double crochet into the next and two double crochets into the same space here into the next stitch okay so you're going to do one one two one one two one one two all around so again one double crochet one double crochet two double crochets into the same space one two again one double crochet one double crochet two double crochets into the next space just like this okay you're going to continue like this all around for this fourth row at the end of the fourth row you should have a total of 52 double crochets so i will meet you here to show you how we're going to complete the fourth row and start on our fifth row Okay, I'm here at the end of the fourth row. I have a total of 52 double crochets. So here I'm just going to join to the first double crochet with a slip stitch. Now for the fifth row, what we need to do is we're going to chain two and now we're going to start working our stitch pattern. Okay, so immediately into this first space, I'm going to go in and I'm going to work my first extended single crochet. So the extended single crochet is worked in the same way as the single crochet except that we take one loop first and then close okay let me show you again insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop the single crochet is done this way closed but the extended single crochet you take one loop and then the next two loops and close okay so i'm going to do seven uh, two chains already counts as one so i have one two three so into the next i'm going to make four, five, six, and seven. And into the next, I'm going to make two extended single crochets into the same space. So one, two. And then I'm going to make again seven extended single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And into the next, two into the same space. One, two. Okay, and then again, I'm going to repeat my seven extended single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven extended single crochets. And into the next one, two extended single crochets in the same space. One and two. 
you're going to continue like this, making seven extended single crochets and into the next two extended single crochets into the same space. So continue like this all around. I will meet you here to show you how we're going to complete this row and then start on our next row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the fifth row. I have a total of 58 extended single crochets. So now we're going to start counting again. So for the first row of extended single crochets all around, I'm going to go into this space here and I'm going to make my first extended single crochet of this first row, okay? I'm calling it the first row because in this fifth row we did increases so I don't want you guys to be confused with this row and this first one that we're doing. So here I'm just going to put a stitch marker. This is going to mark the beginning of each row because what we're going to do from here on um, for about 10 rows is a continuous row of just working extended single crochets all around. When we come here to this first stitch, we're not going to join with slip stitches or anything. We're just going to continue a continuous round of these extended single crochets. Okay, so this is all we're going to do for this first row and for the next 10 rows. I will um, show you here what we need to do on the second row to show you how easy it is to just continue working um, without joining or anything. Okay, so I will meet you here once we're done with this row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row of extended single crochets. As you can see, we didn't do any um, increases or anything. All we did was work extended single crochets into each one of the um, spaces that we had here in between each one of the stitches. So now for the second row, this is where I have my stitch marker showing me that this is the beginning of the row. So here I'm just going to go in and work my extended single crochet just like I've been doing um, for these other ones. So and now I'm just going to continue around doing the same thing, just working my extended single crochets all around. You're going to do this again for a total of um, nine rows. So continue like this. I'll meet you at the end of the ninth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the ninth row. So here, exactly where my next row begins, I'm just going to make a slip stitch. And this is how I end my continuous row of, of extended single crochets. And now we're going to work two or three rows of front and back post half double crochets. Okay, so this first one here, this first stitch that we have, I'm going to make a front post half double crochet. And in the back, or the next one through the back, and through the front, another half double crochet through the back. Okay, and then another one, this one that, that's here in the front, we're going to do a front post half double crochet, and the next one a back post half double crochet. We're going to alternate between making it into the front and into the back, just like this. So front post, half double crochet, back post, half double crochet. front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet. Okay, so continue like this all the way around. I will meet you here at the beginning to show you how we're going to complete this row and start on the next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I'm just going to join here at the beginning with a slip stitch. And this is how I end my first row of front post and back post half double crochets. Okay, so now for the second row, I'm going to chain two and I'm going to do the, the same thing. This one here is a front post half double crochet, so I'm going to make the same thing, a front post half double crochet. The next one is a back post half double crochet. I'm going to do the same thing, a back post half double crochet. And then a front post half double crochet, a back post half double crochet, this is all we're going to do for this row. Exactly the same thing we did on the last row. Okay, so continue like this all the way around. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I just joined here to the beginning with a slip stitch. And now we're just going to do um, one last row. So I'm going to chain one. We're not going to do any more front or back post half double crochets. This last row is just um, a decorative row. Okay, so 
To do that, I did chain one and into the space, I'm going to go in and make a slip stitch, chain one into the next stitch, this one here. I'm going to make a slip stitch, chain one into the next stitch, slip stitch, chain one, go in, slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch, chain one. This is all you're going to do for this row. Um, I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. So here, this is my last stitch. So I'm not going to chain one. I'm just going to go into this first chain that we did and I'm going to make a slip stitch. And then here I'm going to cut my yarn. So I'm going to just slip this through and pull it. And now I'm just going to hide my ends. And here's our finished hat. This is what it looks like. So now let me show you how we're going to attach the bunny ears. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do now here to attach the um, bunny ears is you're going to have to choose where you want your bunny ears. For this white one here, I'm going to attach mine a little bit more on top, whereas this one that I did is more on the side. If you want your bunny ears to go on the side, we're going to attach them in the same way. Okay, so this one here is already done, and as you can see, um, once you put on the hat on the baby, the ears kind of stand out like this. Okay, so this is what I want, um, and I'm going to show you how to do it on this side here. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we have our bunny ears, and um, this long tail that we left, I'm just going to pass it through this needle, and we're going to close these two sides like this. Okay, so beginning here, um, let's see, I'm going to turn it. So right here in this very corner, I'm going to pass it through and through the other side, come through this side here. I'm not going to go over like this, I'm just going to go in and out on the sides on each one of these stitches, just like this. And then into the next one. in and out, in and out through the sides. Okay, and then here, and this last one here. So here I'm just going to make a, a little knot so that it doesn't come undone. Just like this. Okay, and now I'm ready to attach my bunny ears. So the bunny ears are going to go like this. Okay, so the pink is on top. and um, starting here, right, uh, approximate like this. So starting here where I have my, let's say this is the one, two, three, the third row, this one here, I'm going to pass this through on the other side. Let me make sure that it's right in the middle. So I'm going to go in through the other side, through the inside. And I'm going to pull just like this and then I'm going to go whoops I grabbed the stitch here so I don't want that so I'm going to go through the next here and come out on the other side but in my bunny ears I'm going to go through the middle or the next stitch and come out on this side and then I'm going to go back in through the other stitch right here, come out, and then go back through this middle, middle part here where the second and the third stitches meet, then come out, go through here again, come through the front of the bunny ears. and then go through the first and the second row and come out just like this and then go back in let's say I'm going to make one more stitch here just like this and then go back through here and 
come back on the inside and I'm gonna come back out right here and I'm going to grab this part here so that's a little open and then I'm going to go back in and that's it my bunny ears are attached and as you can see here they are so all you're going to do now is through the back just tie make a knot make sure it's nice and secured so that your bunny ears don't come undone so I'm going to do that off camera but as you can see your bunny ears are now attached so let me come back and show you once it's all done to show you what it looks like okay so here's our finished bunny hat this is what it looks like um, you can um, move your ears so that they go on the side like this or you can bring them to the front and open them here on the inside so that they fall to the side but I think this way they look more like puppy ears but it's up to you however way you want to do them or wear them on the baby as you can see it, I think it turned out pretty cute so let me show you now the gray hat Okay, so here's my gray bunny hat. As you can see, the ears are more to the side. I kind of like the white one better because you can do more with it. You can wear the ears um, standing up or flat on the side. Okay, so let me show you the white one again. Okay, so there it is. Um, this is what it looks like. I like the way that this one looks. Um, you can have the bunny um, ears come down like this to the side or you can make them stand up like this. Just like that or you can bring them to the side to the front like this and make them look like that okay so this has been today's tutorial thank you so much for watching until next time